Hey guys, it's Yanni here. Today's video, I'm gonna be telling you how to fix the connection problem with your Rode Video Micro to your iPhone. So this channel is not really a tech channel, it's a travel channel. But believe it or not, I'm actually planning to vlog my travel videos using my iPhone 11. And of course, obviously, with a nice microphone, which is the Rode Video Micro. The reason why I use my iPhone for my travel videos is because it's very light, it's compact, it can film 4K 60 frames per second, and it is very crazy stable. So when you're walking and when you're talking, it's very stable. It doesn't wobble as much because it has in-body stabilization, I believe or the lens stabilization. Before I was vlogging with my M6, and with the M6, I have the Rode Video Micro with this connector right here. And I just recently found out that you need the SC7 connector or wire to connect to your Rode Video Micro. So it's, it kind of looks like this. Now I got this on Amazon and when it arrived, it did not work on my iPhone at all. The microphone did not work, it didn't record nice sound and it sounded like the sound was still coming from my iPhone. So I thought it was connection problem. So initially I thought it was the dongles problem because I have the iPhone 11 and I need the lightning cable to go connect with it. So it's supposed to go like this, right? So the gray is supposed to go on your iPhone and the black is supposed to go on your camera. But when it arrived, it did not record anything at all. I thought this was very faulty. It did not work with my iPhone 11 or maybe because the iPhone 11 was so brand new that there was no update yet to use any external microphone in it. So I, you know, I was ready to return this wire to Amazon and get a replacement. However, I kept on looking at it and what I found out is, I don't know if you guys can see this, but what I found out is there was an excess rubber on the wire the sc7 side or the trrs i think that's the the gray one there was a an excess rubber right here that was protruding a little bit that's a little bit covering the gold metal so what i did was i literally sliced that excess gray rubber on the thing to make it sound like it is securely attached to the dongle so if you can hear it now See, there's a click to it. But before, because of the excess rubber, it could not, it seemed like it wasn't attached properly. And when I did this, when I removed it and I tried the microphone, it worked. So there you have it. This video is just very, very short. I will insert a photo of the original picture of this because obviously I don't have the excess rubber anymore. So if you are having problems connecting your Rode Video Micro to your iPhone, even after buying the SC7 wire, just make sure that there's no excess rubber or excess material that is preventing you from locking your adapter to the dongle properly, like sounding like this, like that. So yeah, it's a very simple fix. Good thing I didn't go through returning, receiving a new one because that would be a lot of, you know, time in my hand going to the post office. It's a really, really simple, easy fix. Just keep in mind that the gray goes to the dongle or the iPhone or the phone, smartphone that you have. And the black one goes to the microphone. It's a very short, this is a very short video, but when I was looking online, how to fix my connection with my Rode and my iPhone, I couldn't find any. There were some thread, but they didn't really solve my problem. So I thought it's a very <laughs> dumb, stupid problem. And solution so I just sliced the rubber off I don't even know why they made excess rubber on it so I just sliced it off and it secured in perfectly and if you are into travel travel videos travel vlogs please subscribe to this channel because that's mainly what I'm gonna be posting starting December especially January to December next year because I'm gonna be traveling full-time with my partner so that's it for this video thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time